five. Toto, have you taken me to the right place? I want to heat my rendang up, not cool it down. Don't worry, Isaac. Just follow me through these hills. Toto, where are my clothes? It's freezing. This is too much, Toto. What are we doing here anyway? Why couldn't we just stay in sunny and warm Singapore? Why? Uh, I was warm in Singapore and now I'm freezing cold. Hmm, feeling a bit hungry. I could use some carrot soup. Can you pass me my soup? There's three types of heat transfer. Conduction! Heat moves from a warmer to a cooler object, but they both have to be in contact. That's like me right now, touching this rock. <laughs> Feels good! But what about the other two types? Ah, convection! When warmer areas of gas or liquid rise, they leave cooler ones below. The hottest part escapes first, so what's left is not as hot. That's what happens when you boil a pot of water a lot. And last but not least, radiation! Through electromagnetic waves that travel at the speed of light, things heat up. Nothing needs to be in contact in this, and it's a good thing, because the sun heats our planet this way, and touching that would not be fun. The soup isn't a hot, Toto. Why don't we warm up the soup? Put it in hot water. Ew, how? Pour the soup into something metal and suspend it inside. Keep swirling it around. Is the soup warm now? Yes, that's because metal is a conductor of heat. I read that. Excellent. And do you know why the heat was lost in the first place? Hmm. Something about heat trapping? Yes, the heat is lost to the environment because the thin wall does nothing to trap the heat. So it moves from warm to the temperature of the atmosphere. That's the same thing as what happened to your rendang. I have an idea how we can save my rendang, Toto. Number four. Whoa! Is this? Yep! We're inside the computer. What's that? And what's happened to us? Isaac, my Electron Man, enjoy the fun while you can. Join this circuit race. Do rake it into place. Woo! We are in a closed circuit that allows electron currents to flow. Ow! The electric shock! Zap, zap, zap! Don't touch! We'll unwrap electrons. Feel the flow. Let's go, Isaac. Let's go. Whoa! It's like the video games you play. Isaac, you can't fight the flow of electrons. How come we didn't go down the other path? Because this is the path of weak resistance. That's a resistor! It provides resistance! Resistance makes it difficult for electric current to flow through the circuit. Hey, did you remember? That's in the textbook. So most electrons will naturally take the path with least resistance. That's right!
I'll come to know your powers. Cause I'm a pro superhero. I'm gonna be a plank of wood so you can see saw the rock out. works when force is pressed down onto one side, causing the other side to rise because of the fulcrum or pivot point in the middle. A second class lever is like how you wheel the rock in the wheelbarrow. And not many know this, but everybody has a third class lever. Your arms! My strong arms were a lifesaver. By the way, we should move the rock away. It's dangerous to leave it there.
kind of. So it's all conservation of energy. The higher I went, the more energy I had. In addition, pushing myself off had even more kinetic energy. Ah! Isaac! Music to 